Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. Tired of repetitive tasks on your iPhone or iPad? With Shortcuts Automation, you can process your routines based on your chosen triggers to streamline your iOS experience. In this video, I will show you six different shortcuts you should know and use on your iPhone and iPad. Let's go! To begin the setup, open the Shortcuts app and head over to the Gallery tab, where you can find a collection of ready-made automations. Top on the list is the Make QR Code Shortcut. Simply type Make in the search bar. Tap the Make QR Code tile, and confirm by clicking Add Shortcut. This handy tool lets you generate QR codes for a variety of purposes, like sharing a website link, sending a message, displaying event details, or even sharing your Wi-Fi network. Once added, you'll find it under the Shortcuts tab. To use it, just tap the shortcut and choose the specific action you want. For instance, say you want to share your Wi-Fi with a friend and then follow the on-screen prompts to add your network information. After generating a QR code, tap Share to save it to your photos or send it directly from a messaging app. For quicker access, you can run the shortcut with Siri or add it to your home screen. Just press and hold on the shortcut card, tap Share, and click Add to Home Screen. Next is the Make PDF Shortcut, a useful tool for converting all sorts of content into PDFs, including web pages, articles, images, and more. It is also easily accessible because it's integrated into the Share Sheet. After adding the shortcut, find the content you want to convert. Hit the Share icon and select Make PDF. You can then save the new PDF to your Files app or share it directly through your favorite messaging platform. Do you need to share a series of screenshots but are tired of sending them one at a time? If so, be sure to look for the Combine Screenshots and Share shortcut and add it to your collection. After adding it from the gallery, head to the Shortcuts tab and click the specific tile. Tell it how many screenshots you want to merge, starting with the most recent. The shortcuts will then merge them into a single image. When you see the preview of the merged photo, you can choose to save it to your album or share it directly with someone through your preferred messaging platform. Also, make sure you get the Search On shortcut. Find it in the Shortcuts Gallery and add it to your collection. This handy tool lets you initiate a search based on your text query, while offering a choice of search engines, including Google, Twitter, Bing, and more, without having to switch between tabs or apps. Simply click the shortcut, type something you want to know, and choose your preferred platform to be redirected instantly. For faster access, consider adding this shortcut to your home screen as well. Another shortcut you need to know is the Expand URL. Search for URL in the Gallery tab and add the shortcut. This tool lets you preview the complete URL before you click on the link, which is perfect for staying safe online. The shortcut integrates seamlessly onto the Share Sheet for easy access. To use the shortcut, copy and paste the shortened link into your Notes app or another text editor of your choice. Then highlight the entire text, tap the Share icon, and select Expand URL. Be sure to grant the required permissions when prompted for the first time. After that, the complete URL will be copied to your clipboard, so simply paste it anywhere into your text editor to see the link. Not only can you expand shortened links, but you can also create them with the Shorten URL shortcut. This handy tool integrates into the share sheet as well. Simply grab the link you want to shorten, click the share icon and select Shorten URL. Similar to the previous shortcut, the shortened version of the link will also be copied to your clipboard, ready to be pasted into any text editor or messaging platform. For additional information, this shortcut uses is.gd, which is a free URL shortening service. That's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.
Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.